Also tonight, as the year comes to a close, many disabled Oklahoma veterans could be missing out on a critical benefit. The deadline to pre-register for re-register rather for sales tax exemption passed in July. And as News 4's Ashley Moss has learned, it appears many veterans missed out. Ashley. Elena met with a disabled vet who said his first time learning about the change was weeks ago. And while adding in our current economy, the absence of this benefit puts a huge dent into his income. Every penny makes a difference. But many of Oklahoma's 100% disabled veterans are missing out on added savings. A new law required them to re-register for thousands in sales tax exemptions by July 1st. Former Coast Guard member Rocky Hala said he had no clue until this denial letter after he tried to apply the benefit to a car purchase. You received this notice because we cannot process your request for new or replacement 100% disabled veterans sales tax exemption card. I have to come up with money that I don't have now to pay for taxes that I didn't think I had to pay. A Department of Veterans Affairs spokesperson says no formal statement was released about the new law, but vets were notified through a social media campaign as well as by email and phone between March and June. They have my email, they have my name, they have my address, they have my phone number. They never sent me any notification whatsoever and I know there are lots and lots of veterans like myself that didn't get this notification. According to the Tax Commission, the new law laid out clear instructions about the deadline. While veterans can mail a letter to the agency asking for their case to be reviewed, quote, until the statute is amended, there is nothing the OTC can do. The Oklahoma Tax Commission is aware of it. The Oklahoma Department of Veterans Affairs is aware of it, is aware of it but none of them are doing anything to fix it except for they're waiting on some law that may or may not come about in spring. If I had known that I needed to register, I would have registered. And because so many Oklahoma veterans missed out on enrolling in the registry, lawmakers want to backtrack and correct the problem with a new bill in the next session. The proposal will be introduced on February 5th.